This is a video presentation about remote control operation. In this video presentation, we are going to observe how a TV remote can be used to control electrical appliances. There are various methods which can be used to control an appliance from a distance. The most extensively used among these are wireless networks such as Wi-Fi or WLAN, radio frequency modules which are called RF modules and infrared signals. Now we have to understand what sort of data is transmitted by a TV remote. Now the data transmitted by a TV remote is called protocol and there are various protocols in use by various TV brands. Now the remote we are going to use, the Philips remote, it uses RC5 protocol. The RC5 protocol is like this. In RC5 protocol there are actually 14 bits. Among these two are start bits, a toggle bit. 5 address bits and 6 command bits. These 6 command bits vary for each button of TV remote. So from this variation we can tell which button is pressed. Before sending the data the TV remote applies a high frequency to the initial signal. This method is called modulation. Modulation is necessary so that environmental noise does not affect the input and after modulation is complete the data is transmitted. On the receiving side we have the TSOP382 receiver which receives the infrared signal, demodulates it and cancels any environmental noise that may be present in the signal. But we have to keep in mind that the output signal from the TSOP receiver is actually an inverted form of the input. As I mentioned previously, the last six command bits are different for each button of the TV remote. Now if we press each button from button 0 to button 9 and observe the output from the TSOP receiver in an oscilloscope, we'll observe these sort of waveforms. Now we'll observe the last six command bits actually represent the binary value for each button. Like for button 2, we'd observe 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and for button 8, we'd observe 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. Now this is our main circuit. In this project we have used various digital ICs, however we have used no microcontroller. And this is the TV remote, we are going to use this TV remote to operate these LEDs and these are going to symbolize various electrical appliances. These 7 LEDs indicate what sort of signal is given from the remote to the receiver. And all these 7 LEDs will show different bit patterns for each of the buttons of the remote that is pressed. Now these LEDs represent the output green LED corresponds to button number 1, blue to button number 2, then this LED to button number 15, this LED to button number 3 and similarly these two are for button number 7 and 8. Now we see as each button is pressed this is 1, this is 2, then this is 3, then this is 4. We also see the outputs here. This is, this is 6, we exclude button number 5, then this is 7 and this is 8 and finally this is 9. And finally we press button number 5 and this is it and this button number 5 illuminates the table lamp which is beside the circuit. We'll see this again pressing button number 5 and we are illuminating this lamp. This is done using a relay and the relay is powered by this disk circuit. Now let's see how our project works. Our IR receiver give us this signal it passes through an inverter and go to the shift register but at the same time it works as a clock in our 4 bit counter and it starts it counting at first when it counts 0 the reset button she in shift register gets 0 and it resets that is make all its output to 0 then it start, uh, goes to 1, 2, 3 and the shift register reset button goes to high 1 and when it goes to 4 count our clock reset becomes 1 and clock starts as the clock starts it passes through an inverter and also an OR gate which is connected to a point which we call our bit end at first it is 0 so the clock passes through the shift register the signal is now passing to the shift register and the value was just stored at this point well at the time when we get 3 low and 1 high at this 
four port then our n gate becomes one as it becomes one or gives output one and the clock stops passing so shift register stores the value it receives at that moment now at 6 11 and the second shift registers 4 passes through some e XOR which inverts according to the 13 pin of shift register when it wants they invert when it's 0 the bit passes as it were and we also get the last 6 last 2 bit of command bit at the shift register when this value equals 0 then we get here 1 and and get needs another input that is our bit end if the bit end is 1 and it is also 1 then a 1 passes through all the end gates so the bit pattern passes through to the decoder input as the decoder input receives a particular pattern such as 3 then he the three point gets low that is a positive to negative transition it is now acts as t flip flop so the output toggles the led will blink and if it is on put toggles and it becomes off and when the next signal next button is pressed it counts zero and it immediately reset the shift register then when it counts four it opens the clock again and the process continues using this method long range operation is possible up to about 20 meters if there are no visual obstruction between the transmitter and the receiver and this method that we used is also capable of using 15 different buttons of the remote that means 15 different electrical appliances can be run at once and this remote control method can also be used to develop remote control cars